Hello, today I'll be showing you my CD collection for bookshelf number two. In my previous video, I showed you my CD collection for bookshelf number one, which is this bookshelf right here. But yeah, again, for this video, I'll just be focusing on this bookshelf, bookshelf number two. But before I show you my CDs, let me show you what we got on top of this bookshelf. We have all of this stuff right here. So yeah, got a tool coin right there, some corn cards, Deftones tarot cards, uh, Megadeth virtual reality goggles, corn hot sauce, some signed drum heads, a Soulfly drumstick that is signed by Zion Cavalera, their drummer, and of course many other things. But to the side of my subwoofer, I have the Metallica Black Album and Black and White book, and then I have a uh, Final of Bush's Loaded compilation, and it is signed by all band members. And I also have this Creator Sepultura Cup, and then I have some CD art books right here. I got the, the two Dream Theater albums, Distance Over Time, and A View From the Top of the World, and I also have Lacuna Coil Comalese XX. And then I have this stuff right here too. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the CDs here. Starting off, we have all my Linkin Park CDs. In my last video for bookshelf number one, my bookshelf number one did end off with two Linkin Park CDs. And it is these CDs right here, the Hybrid Theory EP, and this Card Sleeve CD too. But yeah, these are all of my Linkin Park CDs right here. After Linkin Park, we have the band Live. So yeah, those are all my live CDs. And then we have Living Color. And then we got Machine Head. I also have this long box of their latest album of Kingdom and Crown, which I have signed by all band members when I did VIP. And then we got Mad Season Above which is of course a side project that Lane Staley did in the 90s. And then we have Massive Attack right there. And then right in that corner, we have Megadeth, Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good. And I also have Killing Is My Business, uh, The Final Kill right there, which is right at the end. And my copy of that album comes with a signed CD booklet signed by David Elfson and Dave Mustaine. Moving to the next shelf, we got the rest of my Megadeth CDs right here. So yeah, when it comes to their latest album, The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead, my copy is signed by Dave Mustaine. And if I remember correctly, I got that from Talk Shop Live online. And after Megadeth, we have Metallica. These are all of my Metallica CDs, or at least most of them, but yeah. This is what I got here. I also have Ride the Lightning demos and rough mixes. And this CD is limited to 500 copies. So yeah, definitely a pretty cool find. I got that from eBay like a year or two ago, maybe longer than that. But yeah, those are some of my Metallica CDs. Moving to the next shelf is the rest of my Metallica CDs, which are right there. So yeah, I, got, I do have 72 Seasons, their latest album. But after Metallica, we have Ministry. These are all of my Ministry CDs. I don't have their new album pre-ordered, but it is an album that I am planning to pick up though, of course. Uh, Hopium for the masses. Then after Ministry, we have uh, Mr. Bungle. I have their there are four albums and the, that live album, The Night They Came Home. And then we have Morbid Angel. And after Morbid Angel, we have Nail Bomb. I have their main studio album, Point, uh, Point Blank, and I also have their live album too. Then after Nail Bomb, we have something very different. We have Nas. Those are all my Nas CDs. And then right in that corner, we got Nirvana. Bleach, Nevermind, and Incesticide. Moving to the next shelf, I have Nirvana in Utero. Then after Nirvana, we have Obituary. After Obituary, we have Overkill. For the latest album, I have the long box for Scorched, which is pretty cool to have. 
then after overkill we have pod and then after pod we have pantera those are some of my pantera cds and moving to the next shelf we have a couple more pantera cds which are these two right here then after pantera got pearl jam these are all my pearl jam cds then after pearl jam we have pink floyd after pink floyd we have pit shifter then we got portishead definitely a really good band and then right at the end of this shelf we have primus then to the final shelf for this uh, bookshelf here we have primus uh, the Desaturating Seven and Conspiranoid. And then we have The Prodigy. After The Prodigy, we got Prong. I even do, and yes, I do have the latest album, State of Emergency, which did crack my top five of the year. If you haven't heard that album, definitely check it out. And then after Prong, we have Queensryche, which might not be easy to see right now, but either, but. In either way, I do have all their main albums. And then after Queensryche, I have Rage Against the Machine right there. I have their main studio albums, and I also have some CD singles and some other stuff. Then right on the end, uh, we have Rainbow. And it's uh, these three albums right here. Long Live Rock and Roll, Rising, and... Uh, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. So yeah, that's it for this bookshelf. Let me know your thoughts on the C's you've seen here and let me know what you have and all that good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, a like, subscribe. Have a nice day and take care.